I've been having a further play with uh, 009. As people might remember, I've got a couple of these beautiful Bachmann Baldwins. Absolutely gorgeous locos. This is uh, uh, the first one out of the box, as it were. Uh, I've uh, done a, a bit of weathering on the paintwork, and I've also altered the couplings, taken the uh, Bachmann ones out of the sockets and put some uh, homemade low profile ones on so they're a bit more discreet. Uh, as we know, absolutely gorgeous locos. Um, and the stock they'll be running with is these homemade side tippers. These are a printed whoops as I'm knocking it, knocking it off track these are um, printed ah oh, no wonder it's the uh, it's the wrong way around um, these are side tippers and they do that although there's obviously something a bit wrong with that one but don't worry, I'll fix that. Um, now, these I had planned, as you can see, to fit uh, chopper couplings on. But, of course, they're quite high frame. Um, and so I'd also made some adapter wagons to take them to the standard sort of um, Pico Greenwich loop couplings. Uh, at each end um, but of course we then have the advent of the beautiful uh, Bachmann quarry locos and of course one has to have one of those so I got myself a, a Nesta and I thought I'd have a look at oh um, by the way that's uh, the adapter wagon which you can see has the traditional coupling at that end and the chopper at the other and they're practical tipping wagons like that yeah so i got myself a nesta uh, and i thought i'd have a look at couplings on that and of course the standard 009 couplings are very big and prominent on a loco small as this. So I'm having a look at, well, slightly more scale chopper couplings. And this is what I've come up with so far. Now I have not managed to sort the self-centering yet. That's going to be work in progress. Um, however, everything else is all right. Whoops, come back. Uh, and you can see we've got a scale chopper coupling there. Now, it is also, here we have, come back. Here we have a magnet on a stick. So we can do... Um, automatic and coupling with this as well and you can see it's very much more uh, in in keeping and I have one on the back if I can get to it camera wise and that one doesn't have a chopper fitted that's just a plain plain coupling um, so aesthetically, it's much, much nicer. And these are prints. Um, let me... These look like this. They're little resin prints. Uh, this is an attempt at um, self-centering the, these ears on the back. However, uh, I don't think that's particularly 
uh, successful. Uh, it's the wrong sort of plastic. Uh, so, as I say, that's all work in progress. The prints uh, of the choppers themselves are fine. There's nothing wrong with them. With them, they they work and uh, they're, they're doable. They're small and fiddly to make up, of course, but anything of that size is going to be. Um, on the... This is um, uh, a stepped one that I was looking to experiment with, just in case I didn't want to alter the uh, couplings on the uh, on that wagon this could go into the loco and give a a, uh, a high coupling to mate up with the couplings on the wagon if i wanted i doubt i'll use it but uh but it would work but um uh, because I had doubts that I could get a, uh, uh, a magnetic coupling, an automated coupling, um, at this height, but but I can. So I'll probably alter all the couplings on the uh, on the wagons to uh, to make that uh, that low low Bachmann height work. What I'll do about the self-centering, I don't quite know at the moment. But um, it's it's interesting and it's and it's quite pleasant. Uh, we don't also know how it's all going to behave going round curves. But there we go. It's all good fun.